What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And this is the moment that a lot of you guys have been waiting for. You've been waiting for that Pongu tool to work on a Mac. Well, today's the day, it just released, so I wanna go ahead and make a tutorial for you guys so we can walk through the entire process together. So let's go ahead and get started. So you can see right here that I've actually freshly restored this iPhone 5S, so I'm gonna be using that. Now this obviously is going to work on all devices running iOS 8 through iOS 8.1. So the first thing you want to do is just go to pongu.io and then you're going to download this right here. So obviously where the little Apple symbol is, you're going to click on that and download it. It's only 39 megs. Once you download that, that's going to give you this file right here. So now we're going to start walking through the process. So let's go ahead and open this up right here and it should go ahead and verify. And then once it's done verifying, just go ahead and double click on the pongu icon right here and then it should go ahead and open up. So it says that it doesn't, it's not going to open because it's from an identified developer. So just click OK and then what you want to do is right click on this and then click open. So if you get that issue, then just do that and then click open and it should go ahead and open right up. All right, so now that it is done, you can see right here that it should go ahead and pick up or recognize the phone that is connected to your computer, which I have my iPhone 5S right here. So you can see that's uh, shown right there. So now all you need to do is just click on start jailbreak. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to get these three uh, rules that you need to follow. So it basically just says that jailbreak might lead to data loss. So please make a full backup of your device via iTunes before jailbreak, which I've already done. So make sure you do that just in case something goes wrong. Usually nothing does. But again, you do want to have that backup and reassert reassurance <laughs> before you uh, go through this jailbreaking process. Next, we have please switch your device to airplane mode before jailbreak, which will significantly increase the success rate of the jailbreak. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and swipe up and then just tap on the airplane mode and then we'll swipe back down. That's all you gotta do. And then the third step, if you have a large amount of data on your device in order to speed up the jailbreaking process and increase the success rate, please back up your device and then restore it with a clean copy of the iOS operating system. And then you can restore your data after the jailbreak from the previous backup, which I've actually already done. This is a clean jailbreak, as I said before, or I'm sorry, a clean restore. So you can see I don't have anything additional on this phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on already did. And then we're gonna go through this jailbreaking process. Also make sure that you turn off the passcode just in case. It doesn't say to turn off the passcode, but I always turn mine off. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and speed up through this jailbreaking process. It doesn't take very long at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and speed up through it so we don't have to sit here and wait. All right, so if you get this little pop-up right here where it says storage almost full, just go ahead and click done. That's fine. It's gonna say that pretty much no matter what. So go ahead and click on that. And then you can see right here on my screen that it says jailbreak has succeeded. So now what we're gonna do is reboot our device. And once it finished rebooting, we should be good to go. All right, so you can see right here, we're already restarted. And you can see that we have the Pongu icon right here, as well as the Cydia icon. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Cydia here and it should prepare the file system, which can take some time. So let's go ahead and speed up through this process as well. All right, so now we are done preparing the file system. So let's go ahead and swipe over and let's open up Cydia. And that's all there is to it, guys. It's a very easy process and now it's available for the Mac. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And if you have any issues, be sure to comment and I'll try to stick around and answer some of those questions if you have any issues. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.